Welcome aboard Frank's Magic Bus. For the next two hours, Frank Welch takes you on a musical journey with some of the best deep tracks of classic rock history. Now, without further ado, Frank Welch. Our guest is going to be Steve Gorman, the great drummer of the Black Crows. He'll be joining us in just a couple. Now, the Black Crows are out of Atlanta, Georgia, so you can guess pretty heavy into rhythm and blues. And I've always said this, they are the most Rolling Stones-ish American band since the Stones. Their 1990 debut album was a killer Shake Your Money Maker. It had several radio hits, Twice as Hard, Jealous Again, which kind of sounds like Charlie Watts, but the Stones banging on those drums. That's a compliment, Steve. And an old Otis Redding song, Hard to Handle. Then came 1992's sophomore album, The Southern Harmony and Musical Companion, with the hit Remedy, and the Black Crows were arguably then the best new non-metallic, wink wink, American band of the new decade. The Black Crows always adhered to not only rhythm and blues, but rootsy country rock, covering Graham Parsons, Little Feet, and even Dylan in their live shows. With vocalist frontman Chris Robinson at the helm, drummer Steve Gorman was there from the start with the Black Crows. Let's talk to Steve about the 2013 release. Talk about this new album, Wiser for the Time. It's like part acoustic, part electric, right? Yeah, we did, a, it's taken from the tour in 2010. We did a five-night run in New York, and all these tracks are taken from those five shows. We were doing two sets a night, acoustic and electric, and we thought uh, this, this compilation from those shows is is you know, representative of that, of that whole year. Yeah, I like the combination, too. I always like unplugged stuff. Any uh, hits that were normally done electric from the Black Crows that are done acoustically on this thing? Uh, yeah, I think there is. Um, there's, you know what, I just set it down have it in front of me. There's, there's so many things. Yeah, Hard to Handle's on there. Um, I guess that's Electric Remedy and uh, Stuck to Angels. There's a lot of things that were, we were doing acoustic, and we did both versions throughout the year. Some nights we do Remedy Electric, some nights acoustic, so... On this album, you get uh, you get some of all of it. Pretty cool. There were a few years the uh, Black Crows took off recently, right? Kind of by uh, being in a le- legendary hiatus. Yeah, we get uh, it, it, which you know we 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 pulled the plug on the band at the end of two thousand one and 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 went away for you know all, it was about four years and we got back in 05. We thought that would be for a year and then we turned to two and three and then we looked up and we had done another six year run and made three albums. And what we learned was when everyone's really tired and starting to get sick of each other, why don't we just take a break? It doesn't have to be the end of the world. Let's not push it to where everyone's exhausted beyond the, the, the point of even wanting to see each other. Let's just pull the plug and, and come back when we're refreshed and happy. And that's exactly what we did this time around. Plus, when you get older, you get to perhaps a little more mature, and, and that rest off might uh, kind of rejuvenate your uh, creative no juices, question. right? No, no question. I mean, everyone's got a much different perspective and a, and, a, and a much greater sense of balance in their personal lives, which is you know hard to come by in your 20s when you're obsessed with your band and doing everything uh, you know, at 100 miles an hour. So we're not at all afraid of admitting that everybody's grown up a good bit over the last 10 years. Hey, this is Steve Gorman of the Black Coes, and you are rocking with Frank Welch. I am Frank Welch, and we continue our one-on-one chat with Black Crows drummer Steve Gorman. Back to the uh, new release real quick, uh, part acoustic, part electric, uh, done live. Uh, any surprises for uh, Black Crows fans on there as far as the uh, tunes you played? We, we've got some we got some covers. We've got two Graham Parsons tunes, Hot Burrito number one and Hot Burrito number two. Oh, I love it, man. Um, Big fan of Will, both songs. Willin from Little Feet's Willin and then Bob Dylan's song, Tonight I'll Be Staying Here With You. So we, we you know, because we've always played covers live and we included some on this set as well. Yeah, the, both Hot Burrito songs are great. I'm a big uh, Graham Parsons fan, big uh, oh, yeah. Little Feet fan too. That's great. You're going to be playing with uh, Phil Lesh's band, the Grateful Dead guy someplace? Well, Chris has done a bunch of gigs with Phil over the years, and Jackie Green, our our guitarist, just did a series of dates with Phil. He's a they they both have done things, all, all kinds of projects with Phil, and we see we we cross paths quite often. Yeah, that's a that's a regular a regular event to cross paths with those guys. And of course, the the trend over the past several years, like you know Neil Young, I think, and Pearl Jam started all this. Now a lot of uh, artists are doing it, releasing vinyl versions. So this is coming out what on vinyl and MP3 only. Yep, we've done. Uh, yeah, we've put out. We've 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 all of our albums have always come out on vinyl, even when we had to really really fight with record companies to do it. And this one's this one's just 
a vinyl or download. No reason to waste time with CDs anymore. They never <laughs> sounded good anyway. <laughs> a lot of people agree with you, man.